Welcome to my next let's play. I make sure volumes on this. Oh boy. I almost blew my ears out. Could catch some mice in. This is Yu Gi Oh! Duel for Roses. Well, I still blew my ears out, but. Close enough. Alright, thing to note about this. I was ha I I've tested a little bit on it, make sure we have it was working correctly, and there's one major bug. The opening cutscene almost crashes the emulator. It slows down to a crawl, so here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna hit the fast forward button on it. And it actually gets it pretty close to the proper speed. Weird, but uh let's begin. Someone else to note. Unlike Forbidden Memories, there's no point of me trading cards over. That'll be explained in the rules of the game. Okay, why isn't anything working? There we go. There we go. I mean, it'll sped up. Yeah, we know him. And him. And him. Blah blah blah, same character pretty much. Different time period. Yep, that has to do with Castlevania, just saying. Wait, what am I thinking? That's Belmar, not Belfort. Forget that. Alright. Okay, I think I timed that perfectly. Alright. Okay, why is the input working on this? Hmm. One sec. Let me fix this. See you in this one second. I need to fix something. Alright, we are back. I don't know what was wrong, but I fixed it. So let's fix this. TLDO uh, put a good drama. Legendary. Yep, it describes. That's the perfect description.
but that's not egotistical at all. It's really loud on my end. Let me try something with that, see if I can make it a bit easier on my ears. If that broke anything, I can fix it in editing. Yep, they had Yu-Gi-Oh cards back in England in like... Whatever age it had to do with. I'll explain it, I'll explain everything once we actually get into a game proper. I don't like any of these, but uh, uh, this one here will be the closest, I think. Hmm. Yeah, that's about as deep in this spell cast as I know. person with an ego that can rival my own. Find out. Government is almost pretty badass. Thank you. 
interesting proposition, but watch your cats. I mean, considering my ears just got blown up by the emulator, it's kind of hard to do. Lunatics are fun. They have like my name with a few extra words and and all removed. That is a good point. Guardians of all the ones we battled in the last game, I think. Oh, they were Temple Guardians. Oh, Golden, not Guardians. No, I'm an idiot. Just ignore that. White, red, white, red. Let's see, we could be the villains or the heroes. You tell him. Those eyes. <laughs> It's been like what, 15 minutes of cutscene so far. So thin, boss. And this is why trading cards over will be pointless. You can't like overpower yourself. You have to have cards that weaker on your opponent. But it's good if you're building like a, de a specific deck. But like I said, you can, can get some advantage from it, but it's just not worth the time. You also can't trade over your entire deck like in the other game. You ha you'd have to get like 40 spell cards to trade out with it. It's a little bit smarter in this game as well. I mean, the other one he would have easily underestimated everything. Including in the anime. Okay, finally, gameplay. Alright.
I'll explain how this game works obviously as this first match commences. Now this kind of plays like Dungeon Dice Masters vaguely. You move, we can move your deck leader once a turn. And uh, you pick a spot, you can place a card, one card per turn. Every turn you get a few uh, star points with the use of some creatures, I mean monsters. So you can't just swap up blue eyes in the first turn. But like the other game, you can drop cards as you wish. And I don't think you can deck out either. Now, if you flip a card face up, let me tell me how to do this. Alright, uh, it won't work yet. I'll explain it a little bit later. Let's do with territory. Alright. Protect me, Squirrel! You also don't lose life points for having a card in attack mode. So, it's not a big deal. At least I don't think you do. And these do have effects as a bonus of the other game. Check what this one's effect is. Alright. Let's provoke her a little bit, shall we? These can be skipped, I think you can turn them off somewhere. I'll, I'll let you see one, maybe a few later on. But this does take up a lot of game time. They cut out like 10 seconds on the start and end of those, I wouldn't mind having more. Got called was. Okay, do I have to summon a return? I don't remember. No, I don't. That's good. There's just for better memories that made you do that. Between episodes, I'll turn uh, door animations off. Okay, I was wrong. You do lose life points for that. For some reason, I did thought you didn't. Let's see what we can summon. Alright, next spike, what's this do? Okay, it's a flip effect, right? Yes. Oh wait, for you to attack it. What the heck? Wait. Alright, what just happened? Oh, whatever, I must have overlooked something. Yeah, 
how much did that boost them? Looks like 300 or so. What's this effect? Okay, that's a cool effect. That's a cool one. It might bite you though. No pun intended. Destroy it again. the video here. I'll see you in the next episode. We'll finish this one up. Later.